Hey there, Room Pop Sisters. Paul Valancourt here, back again with some more Q&As. You guys have been sending in some really great questions. I'm so excited to answer them for you. This is a very simple one, uh, very straightforward, I, I, and I love this question. The question is, what do you do when someone in the scene is denying you? What do you do when someone in the scene is denying you? I think we all face this at different times in our improv careers, especially at the beginning. Right? When we're at the beginning, we're usually playing with other people who are at the beginning. We haven't sort of gotten all of our good habits together yet. And this happens a lot more. I think as we go on and we sort of play with people who've been playing longer, we've been playing longer, we don't deny as much and other people don't deny as much in the scene. But at, at, at the beginning, we're all sort of getting on track. We're all sort of learning good habits. So there's a lot of denial. So what do we do, Paul? What do we do when someone in a scene is denying us? And I think this, I, well, let me just backtrack for just a second. I think when someone in a scene is denying you, I don't necessarily know that they know that they're denying you. I don't think they know that you're denying you. I don't think that they're doing it on purpose. Okay? If if they are doing it on purpose, if they do know that they're doing it and they're deliberately denying you, they're deliberately trying to derail the scene in a way. And that's kind of weird. So um, buckle up and hang on and try to get out of that scene as soon as possible. But, but I think most of the time, it's innocent enough. They don't know. They're just sort of, they get in a loop or they just... Whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. When, <laughs> when my wife and I um, were just just married, she went in for an improv audition, and it was a uh, uh, husband and wife. And uh, and they were saying, okay, so you guys are just uh, getting some cereal in the morning, and um, your husband and wife ready and go. And before my wife could even say a word, her partner, this guy, was just like, shut up. Shut up, don't talk, don't talk, shut up. And she was like trying to get a word in, but he just kept saying, don't talk and shut up. And then after like a minute or two, they're like, okay, thanks. And they left. And as they were leaving, this guy turned to my wife and was like, I, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. And I think that's usually how it happens. You sort of get caught in a loop or you just get knocked off track or something, but you don't, you're not denying it on purpose. So, so, so what do you do? But how do you handle it, right? So I think here's how you handle it. If someone's denying you in a scene, agree with them. Agree with their denial. If you say, hey, dad, and they're like, I'm not your dad, I'm your brother, then go with it. Go with their thing, because they don't know that they're doing it wrong. They don't know that they're denying you. So if you get on their page, then we're on the same page. The most important thing is to be on the same page, right? Not whose page it is, but on the same page. So if I know that they don't know, then it's then it's up to me to match. I always say to my to my students, it's up to the person who knows better to match. If I know that they don't know what's going on, I'm going to match them. If I know that they're denying me, I'm going to match them. Because there's no good to fight from the scene. You are my dad. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. It's absurd. Like, why would you even waste your energy on that? So I say, hi, dad. They say, I'm not your dad. I'm your brother. I know. I just kind of look up to you like dad. And you're like my second dad. Right? And so now I've justified it and now we're on the same page. He's my, and we've also discovered something. I look up to my brother like he's my dad. Maybe he'll act like my dad, maybe he won't, but now now we're on the same page. I know how I feel towards him. He knows how I feel towards him. And now we're on sort of on relationship, right? It's up to the person who knows better to match. This came really clear to me when uh, uh, years ago in a scene, two students were doing a scene and, and one student knew very clearly that they were Heckle and Jekyll, the magpies from the old cartoons, right? The other guy did not know this, but the guy who knew didn't help out his partner, didn't match to him, just kind of kept this thing going kind of at the expense of his partner, right? And at the end, it was super clear to me, and that's when I first gave the note. It's up to the person who knows better to match. I said, did you know that he didn't know? And that guy said, yeah. I said, well, then it's up to you to, to, to help him out. Either let him know, which he's clearly not getting, or get on his page so you guys can move forward. Because you sort of like grinding away on this idea that your partner isn't getting, isn't getting you anywhere either, right? You succeed or fail together. It's better to get on the same page, even if it's your partner's page, right? That's whose page it is, doesn't matter, than, than, than to struggle over control of the scene, which is really what it is, okay? So that's it. So what do we do? Very simply, what do we do when someone's denying us in a scene? We agree with their denial. Then their denial, we just yes and it, and we say we're on, we're on the same page. We're moving forward. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted all along, to be on the same page. Okay, that's what I do, and that's what I recommend when someone's denying me in a scene or someone's denying you in a scene. What do you guys think? How do you deal with this when someone's denying you in a scene, right? 
uh, let me know down below. I think this is a really sort of common thing that happens a ton, especially at the beginning. So if you've been doing this for a little while and you have some, some good information to help out some newer improvisers that are dealing with this a lot more than more experienced improvisers, let, uh, let us know down below, okay? Uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week. Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you wanna hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below. And let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.